I hope iPhones are watertight when they're in gripping boxes. This would be a good sign to call it quits. out the strongest storm shelter you can buy on the market you've seen other steel shelters made out of usually uh, 12 or 14 gauge steel stretched over a skin welded on this thing is actually rolled quarter inch steel and uh, giving it a superior strength with the arch in the roll this is heavier than any steel storm shelter on the market. These are custom built storm shelters by uh, Hanson Trailers. Uh, if you want to learn more about them you can go to HansonTrailers.com. Custom built steel storm shelters and uh, I think you'll find that these are probably the strongest and the heaviest made anywhere to date. So to find out more Check us out on the internet at hansontrailers.com. Floor is made to be poured with concrete right up to the square tubing, the 6x4 square tubing. This makes the shelter part of the foundation. And then you can bury it over with dirt once 
once you pour this full of concrete, it's airtight. As every seam on it is completely sealed. No problems with leaking like concrete or concrete staying wet and getting soft. The steel is superior also for earthquakes as uh, concrete is dangerous. Any kind of earthquake situation. The rolled shape of this gives it superior strength. It's also made with quarter inch steel compared to other safe boxes you see out there being made today are made with 12 or 14 gauge steel covering a frame and uh, they don't have near the strength. This, this also outweighs a lot of the other steel shelters three to four times. I believe the weight on this one is four or five thousand. I think he said it was five thousand pounds. Yes. And that's still ha still going to have concrete poured in there for the floor. And then buried over the top with dirt. Making this one of the strongest and safest shelters money can buy. And that's my opinion, but I've seen a lot of shelters and this thing is overbuilt and that's what you want when it comes to a storm shelter. The door probably weighs four or five hundred pounds. It may be heavier than that. I know this thing is built heavier than my gun safe at the home. My gun safe, I only wish was this strong. The door is big enough for a wheelchair. I believe the measurements on this are 8 by 10. If you'd like to learn more, see more photos, and see some pictures of one installed, please go to HansonTrailers.com. This three, three by six steel tubing on the side of this uh, storm shelter. You see the rebar in this plate. You pour concrete over all this. You bring your concrete up, your floor level with your three by six tubing. So that way this thing's completely, instead of bolting it to the floor, it is the floor, it's attached to it. So you won't see any other designs like that right now. This is a three-point latch system on the door. There's one latch. If you uh, feel like you want, you've got two more latches that you can pull the pins put in. one of uh, Hanson Trailer's storm shelters and uh, this one just got set this year and as you see these guys covered it with dirt and uh, put it in here poured concrete go ahead and open that door for us Hanson. that's a rubber gasket 
uh, keep things airtight. It's a little bit, uh, this one's not finished yet. They've still got to paint it on the inside and they're going to paint the outside. And that's their uh, hole for their communications and uh, power. So this is going to be painted, but you can see they didn't finish the concrete. Big, big hinge. All right. You can see it. Big wide door for a wheelchair. Let me give you a close look at the breather pipes on top. You can see that these are uh, bug proof. The bug can get in there. Anything big that would like a wasp or anything, they can't get in. The new design, he has put fins on them to keep the dirt back. Here we use landscape timbers. And this was taken care of on the new design. But we can build it any way you want it. Oh yeah, does it look like a Christmas tree? It's a pretty tree. This thing's built like an army tank. <laughs>